everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a bookstore shopping vlog. I think the first bookstore shopping vlog I did was in August, so it's been almost a year. I'm going to two of the same bookstores that I went to last time. I'm going to the thrift store by my house and then I'm going to go to McNally Robinson. I'm not going to Indigo today because I work pretty close to Indigo and I'm just always there. The books that I'm looking at I know will be at Indigo and I'd rather just buy them online if I can't find them at the thrift store and McNally Robinson. Whereas I haven't been to McNally and my local thrift store in almost a year so i want to see what's up there i am on the hunt for very specific books which i'm not going to talk about until i either find them or they might show up in a book haul later on because some of them i know for sure if i don't find them today i'm still going to order them online i just want to see if i can find them on sale find them a little bit cheaper i put on these nails last night don't look too closely i painted them kind of bad but I put on these nails last night they're just like glue on nails that I got from Walmart I think they're by the brand kiss and they're like a pointy nail which I've never had before I usually just get like the square nails and these are so much longer than I am used to I just feel so weird having them because I feel like they're so long and I painted them summer colors which I love doing my nails like this for the summer so this is what I have going on. I feel like I talk more with my hands when I have nails, which I think is so weird. They don't go with the fit today. I mean, my fit is very neutral today, I'll show you guys, but yeah, this is like the pop of color in my outfit. I did wanna update you guys on my bookshelf decor and stuff, so I haven't gotten any new decor items. However, I did buy more lights. I bought two more boxes of the lights that I got from Amazon. I haven't put them up yet because I need a power bar to hook up the lights. I don't have enough plugins. Hopefully I'll buy a power bar like later this week and then I can start putting up lights on my bookshelves. And then I also do need to buy like ivy vines because I don't know if I mentioned this but my mom was going to give me some that she had in storage and she did bring them, I looked at them, and they had like white in them, like the white specks and stuff, and I was like, I don't, I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna buy some other ones. I think Walmart has some that I might buy, or I might just order some off of Amazon. But there hasn't really been any other updates with my bookshelves. I just thought I would let you know that I did buy more lights, and I need to put them up. I also do want to mention I am not fully comfortable vlogging in public, so I will try to vlog as much as I can. You're probably just going to see lots of random clips of books and like the book displays that they have. Hopefully this vlog turns out alright, if not, whatever, I did my best. I think I'm going to go to the thrift store first and see what they have and then I will go to McNally Robinson after. Okay, so this is my outfit for today it's pretty basic it's kind of gloomy out i don't think it's really that cold so i might not even wear this jacket but we'll see so i have this leather jacket from a pretty little thing it's just like a long jacket i really really love it and then i'm wearing a turtleneck from walmart and then my sweater vest is from H&M. My brown jeans are from Garage. And then I'm wearing my white filas. And then I just have this bag from Arden. So that's my outfit for today. And then I am going to bring this cute little tote bag. This I got from Hello Lovely in a book box. It just says, there are books in this bag really cute. I'm gonna hopefully at least have one book to carry in here, but yeah, that is my outfit and I'm going to now go to the thrift store. Okay, so I made it to the thrift store. It's actually kind of, it's not really that busy. I parked really bad, but I don't care. It looks pretty busy, like a lot of people are bringing in books, but yeah, I'm gonna go see what they have there. I am looking for some like nonfiction and some like literary fiction books 
and I also will see obviously what they have for romance but yeah that's kind of what I'm on the hunt for so we'll see what they have. Sorry this angle is so bad by the way, my tripod is like too high so I have to use like another thing that I am that I have for my camera. I didn't find anything at the thrift store. There was like one book that I was kind of thinking about but I read the first page and I was like okay maybe I'm not actually interested in reading this book so I didn't buy it but it was pretty busy in there like there were like four or five people. There was so much to look through. Like I was looking for some classics and some like nonfiction stuff, but there is so much to look through that it's really hard to find anything. I'd probably have to be there for hours looking. And they had like a couple romance titles, but nothing, like no indie romances. A lot of it was like published, traditionally published romances. But yeah, their selection was like pretty decent. So I'm now going to go to McNally and see what they have there.
So I just finished at McNally. They had so many books to look through and there were like two other books or three other books that I was interested in, but I have like $10 or $10 coupon for Indigo. I always have like my plum points. So I end up getting like maybe $15 off. So I kind of want to buy some books online. So. I didn't end up buying them here. I don't have a rewards card for McNally because I never really shop here, but I did end up buying Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, which I have already read. I already own this book. I own the like original cover. Fun fact, I actually read this when it came out. Um, I read it years ago. It is my favorite Christina Lauren book. I just really really love this book so of course once they revealed the new cover i had to buy it i actually really like this cover i don't understand why people hate it so much i think it's really cute i'm glad they didn't do like a cartoon cover with like characters because i just feel like that's so overdone i just think this is really cute but i also do like the original cover i think it's pretty basic when i first walked into mcnally usually they're romance section is at the back it's like in the corner and they moved it they moved it and made it a bigger section right before the like fiction general fiction so that was really interesting i think they have a lot more romance titles now that the corner just wasn't big enough which i'm glad they moved it because it was always in the corner and like hidden away and i'm glad they now have the romance section in a very like open area it's kind of closer to the till and then it's closer to upstairs where all of the younger books are like YA and children's books which I didn't even look at the YA section to be honest because I'm not really interested in any YA at the moment so I didn't even bother going upstairs but yeah it was also very cute in there very vibey there was a lot of music which I'm probably gonna have to mute all the clips because I don't want to get any kind of copyright. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't go home with more books today, especially from the thrift store. I was hoping to find like one or two books from there, but I didn't. I did figure out I don't want to read Where the Crawdads Sing. I was trying to get that at the thrift store because I don't want to support the author who I think has been involved in like a murder. So if I wanted to read that book, I wanted to get it at the thrift store. And they had a copy there. I did read the first page, but I wasn't really vibing with the writing. So I was like, I'm not going to buy this. I'm not going to read it. So that is a book I know I'm not going to read anymore. So that's nice. But I am happy I did buy this. I think I'm going to, oh, my nails match, which is super cute. Oh my God, I love that. I think I'm just going to go to Tim's and go home. I feel like this vlog was really lame. I didn't go to that many bookstores. I mean, I went to one less bookstore than last time, but I go to Indigo all the time. So I don't feel like going there today. So I went to Tim's. I got an ice cap, a quencher because I'm going to be editing today. That's literally all I'm going to do later today is edit. So I wanted to have a couple of drinks and then I did get a English muffin, a bacon English muffin. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this vlog. I'm sorry if it was like really short and just very basic, but I was kind of overwhelmed filming in all of the bookstores. Like there were so many people and it's a Saturday today and it's rainy. So people are out and doing things. And even though I didn't find a lot, I am happy I did buy Love and Other Words. And I really should reread this soon because 
like I said, it's been years since I read it. I read it when it came out, which, when did this come out? I guess this came out in 2018, which feels so long ago. But yeah, that is it for this bookstore vlog. I will try to do another one, maybe in the actual summer, and maybe I'll do one again in the winter or something, like around Christmas. I think that would be really fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed whatever this vlog turned out to be. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!